Hey everybody, um, today I want to show you guys a setting that I um, haven't really used before. Uh, this is an existing setting, you should um, at least be able to see it in 2020. Uh, so currently I am in uh, Dynamo 2.10, I'm using Revit 2022. Uh, you should be able to use this setting in, in 2020 and 21. Um, uh, I'm not sure the previously to that, I'm not sure when this actually came out. But the reason why this is uh, this is something I'm even looking at is recently Solomon uh, posted an article about the the new uh, Dynamo 2.12 that you can download uh, currently uh, within the sandbox and, and kind of play around with it. Um, in the future, it'll be integrated, uh, I think, with uh, the the uh, with Do or with Revit. Um, but one of the things they're going to be updating is a preference panel, which is going to host uh, a variety of uh, preference settings and one of those settings is show run preview and that's something that you can get from the settings uh, currently from the settings drop down if you click on uh, show run preview uh, if it has the check um, check mark next to it then that means it's um, actively on and what it's going to do is show you the nodes that need to to run um, so you can see here uh, I've got two code blocks uh, these have ha already run and you can see um, you can see the output one and then the output two down here. This one hasn't ran and you can see uh, null there. Uh, what's interesting is that it's going to output null anyways uh, just because there's no input into the, the W. Um, so if I run this you'll see that it does output null uh, and that isn't highlighted anymore. Um, and that's just going to say that when you run this again all it's going to do uh, is just output the exact same data. It's not going to do any, you know, um, anything in the background. It's not going to figure out um, how to multiply these values. It's just going to output the same value unless you change something around. Uh, and in that case, it turns orange again. And so if we just put those back and then um, what we can do is uh, just place some notes down. So if we do a string and this is kind of interesting um, but if we do that and then do category do category by name plug that in um, and then let's do all elements of category so I notice that sometimes it'll actually kind of get messed up and I don't know if it's like it knows that because I'm inputting wall as the name that it's gonna output null as the uh, output um, but I've noticed sometimes if I do you know like in this case it's not wall it's it's plural so in that case um, when it is like this uh, the output is null which you can see currently is the case so I don't know if that's why sometimes these nodes are not highlighted even though they haven't um, ran before so I'm not entirely sure but I've noticed that um, little bug uh, here and there um, but if we update the update that to walls um, and then plug that into the the um, code block uh, we can see that all of these need to run. They haven't, you know, they haven't, um, they haven't ran before, and these have. And so if I come down here, click Run, um, it's gonna uh, update all of those nodes. They're and none of them are highlighted anymore. Um, so I, you know, it's pretty cool, and I think maybe a good use for it is, is if you're working on maybe a larger script. And this is just, you know, my thought. Um, without a lot of time using it is that when you look at um, a large script and you're 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 customizing a lot of stuff and you kind of have an idea on, on what the runtime is from from you know so many nodes up um, maybe you modified a node that you didn't mean to or you modified something and was uh, unaware of it that it was connected to another node that uh, maybe was doing a lot of stuff and because of that, it impacted the duration or the runtime, and so it throws you off, and then you're you're going down a rabbit hole of investigating other nodes. Um, and so, if you know exactly what's going to be impacted when you're customizing or you're updating a script, then you have a better idea on what the runtimes are, how that would be affected. Um, 
I don't know. That's an idea. Um, you know, obviously there's a nice view extension called TuneUp that can kind of help uh, avoid that. But, um, you know, I think it's useful to know what's going to run, um, what's impacted or what's going to be um, updated when you run it. So anyways, I just wanted to point that out. I think it's a cool setting. Check it out. Let me know how you use it. I'm going to turn it on for a few weeks, um, see how I like it. Uh, but let me know if you have any questions. Um, feel free to comment. And if you like the video, you know, uh, like it, share it. Um, subscribe so um, but thanks again guys and I'll see you in the next video thanks